ever been anywhere near that many size. So, I went there, I went there put our plant meter on there, and tested. Um, Morning, James from Elite. So, I just want to talk about maximum demand. So when I'm designing a heat pump um, and sizing up a heat pump for a new property, we've got to do a maximum demand test. So obviously we never guess the fuse size, you've got to get that from the grid. Um, even if it says 100 amp on it, that's the carrier size it can take, uh, fuse size it can take, it's, it's not actually the fuse. So just be aware of that. Now, at the moment, it's taking in your experience, putting diversity into it, and seeing if um, you know we, we can we can take what we want to take. So what we'll do is a Christmas day test. We'll put everything on and put our meet, uh, clamp meter on there and see what the amp readings are, and then we'll put take diversity into that. What that means is basically what's the reality of being on in the house all at the same time. As I say, it's a bit of a guessing game. The best thing to do, and always the best thing to do, is to take the um, half hourly uh, meter readings from your energy provider. So that will give you uh, exactly what the, um, the the data tells you, and then we can work out the average on what um, what the house has been doing, and if we've ever been anywhere near that fuse size. So if we don't have that luxury of the half hourly data from the energy provider, don't particularly like the Christmas uh, day test. What we have done is bought one of these expensive gizmos and it's a Pell 51. This is currently logging the incoming mains and we've had this on for two weeks. Uh, yeah, like most, as I say, most properties are absolutely fine, miles off that fuse, never gonna be a problem, but on some particular houses, it's pretty close. Um, reality is, it probably is nowhere near, um, but on your Christmas day test, it looks quite close. So we've got this data logger, it's been logging for two weeks, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna end the recording now, we're gonna take it back to the office and see um, see what it's been recording over the last two weeks. The reason why we've done it on this particular property is because it's got quite a few ovens, uh, it's quite a sizable kitchen uh, around the back there, uh, quite a few ovens, quite a lot going on, it's got a hot tub, uh, and that Christmas day test was, yeah, quite close. Um, so we just wanted to see well, well, real world scenario, um, and this is how we do it. So we're going to end the uh, end the recording now. Take it back to the office and see what the reality was. Hi, right, James again, back in Elite HQ. So the reason why we're doing this test is the maximum demand test is we're going to be putting in an air source heat pump and an additional uh, electrical draw on the circuit. We want to make sure that we don't blow that incoming fuse with adding you know, more appliances on there, just like you would add a, a, a 10 kilowatt shower on there. So yeah, we wanna make sure we're going nowhere near that fuse rating. Uh, the fuse rating on that particular system was 80 amps. Uh, so the data which we've uh, put onto the computer now, we've taken the SIM card off the data logger. Uh, over a nine day period, we asked for the first few days without the hot tub, and then the latter, few uh, the latter uh, stages of it with the hot tub. So the maximum demand on this circuit over a nine day period was 26 amps. Nowhere near that Christmas day test, which we did uh, when we first went there. I went there, put our clamp meter on there and tested uh, ovens, uh, hobs, kettles, everything, whack everything on there. And it went up to about 90 amps. The reality of day to day usage and diversity is miles off there. So 26 amps. Uh, over that period of nine days, we can actually see when it does spike and puts that hot tub on. Uh, I'll do a close up of this um, uh, later on. But yeah, nowhere near it. Really, really confident that we can put the air source heat pump on there now. Uh, so this data logger, even though it's expensive, is well worth it, uh, well worth uh, every penny. We've had certain uh, circumstances in the past where we've, we've had it close as well. And with this data logger, it's completely different. So yeah. Well, uh, an amazing bit of kit, and uh, yeah, we love it. So, we'll be putting the SLC pump on, no problem. Cheers. You can see, uh, in this window of nine days, the maximum demand is 26.22 amps. Normal usage throughout the week, and then started putting his hot tub on from cold uh, over that, I think it was about the fifth or sixth day. 
uh, and it hovered and just was tickling away nicely. You can see the, the house basically on top of that, really, on, on top of that hot water usage. Um, so, yeah, that gives you a lot of confidence that we are nowhere near that 80 amp fuse. So that's the hot tub just heating up, massive spike, and then just tickling away uh, and keeping warm as well, and then obviously it's turned it back off. Um, yeah, so really good data, and yeah, confident we can power heat pumping.